You know what the world needs? Another mid-range phone, and that's exactly what you get with the Kyocera Hydro Edge, available for Sprint. This is a quick hands-on when you take a look at the phone. You can see on the back it has a kind of a unique style. It's a little bit reminiscent of the ACC 1S, just slightly. Uh, but you got your power button and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top. A dedicated camera button on the right. On the bottom you have back, home, and menu buttons. They're on a capacitive screen. And on the right hand side you have volume up and oh left hand side you have volume up and down buttons. Uh, moving on, you can see again on the camera, ignore the little red sticker right there, uh, that's covering up a 5 megapixel camera. Now the camera on here supports HDR photos, uh, supports face recognition and things like that. There's no front facing camera unfortunately, but you do get LED flash with the camera. The top of the phone is just a generic plastic. Uh, the bottom is a little more interesting. It's kind of soft. It has a somewhat dimpled surface, similar to the BlackBerry Z10, but it's not as smooth as that material. It's just a regular run-of-the-mill plastic, but it feels good, and it's a very light phone because of that. The back of the device reveals a 1600 milliamp battery. Now, I know that doesn't seem a lot, but this is only a 3G phone, which is actually more bad news. There's no 4G LTE on this device. That's a little disappointing. But when you put the battery cover back on, you swipe to the left. Now you know that your phone is secure and you can go back to using the device. As far as other things that this has, this is very similar to the Hydro Extreme. It's built to last and withstand the elements. It's got IP57 water and dust resistance so you can have it underwater for up to 30 minutes you can't use it but it'll survive in case you drop it in water it's got a four inch ips impact resistance screen so if you drop it it's going to have nice shock absorption to not break but at the same time the screen's a little disappointing because it's only a wvga resolution not bad for a four inch screen but it's not going to be the uh, not going to blow you away by any means uh other than that it's got four gigabytes of internal memory a micro sd slot up to 32 gigabytes and one gigabyte of ram to go along with its one gigahertz dual core processor. Uh, of course, Kyocera made some changes to this device in terms of the software, but uh, when you look at the Hydro Edge, you're seeing just your expected mid-range device. It's coming out on Sprint. It's got Smart Sonic Receiver for a better phone calling, Eco Mode and Maximizer to increase battery life, and it's got Bluetooth 4.0 uh, low energy. So we'll see how this device compares to other mid-range devices on the market. Uh, it's, you should get more information at the link below. In the meantime, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.